So before this video gets started, I had a brain fart. This video is actually supposed to be inspirations, but in my mind it was influences. So I shot this whole video about influences when I really meant inspirations. So just imagine when I say the word influence and when I write the word influence, I mean inspirations. My lovely girlfriend pointed out that, hey, wasn't this week supposed to be inspirations? And I was like, that's, that's why I love you. Anyway, thank you, Brooke. So after that dramatic entrance, uh, today's one word, week six of one word. And again, to everybody who's out there watching and to everybody who's been subscribing and commenting and you know just keeping up with me and keeping me motivated, thank you. Thank you again so much. I've had a lot of great positive feedback. Everything you guys say to me keeps me going. It really makes me feel good. It makes me makes me happy that I can reach out to you guys. And my, my channel's growing still. I'm, I'm watching every single subscriber I get, and every time I see that number go up, I just, yes, another one, I, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting to where I wanna be. So again, thank you all so much. Today's one word was, uh, it was requested by a few people in the, uh, not last week's, but the week before last, when I asked you guys what the next one word should be. I know Nate was the, uh, the one who actually commented, and he got a couple likes on that comment about doing a one word for this week's one word, which is influences. In order to keep this short, I want to keep it down to three main influences. But uh, number one, Kyle from Boosted Boys. Now I started watching those guys when Kyle only had 300 subscribers. And I remember following him because I, was, I had picked up a wagon, another wagon, and it wouldn't start and I couldn't figure out, so I googled Honda Civic 88 to 91 no start. Stumbled across his video and it said that there could be a loose set screw in the uh, distributor cap. So I thought, hmm. called my dad and said, hey, would you look at this? Because the wagon to his house was about two hours away. He went out there and the next video I got was him saying, hey man, watch this. Brrr. Started that up, right up. I couldn't believe it. That was it. I was like, oh, dude, that's so awesome. So I started watching that. I started watching more of his content, and I, I I started watching a little bit more Boosted Boys. And he only had a couple videos up at the time, but it dealt a lot with Kyle and Charlie's Civic wagons. It's like sweet, awesome. Subscribe. So I started watching those guys. And at the time, I wasn't huge on YouTube. I just kind of I'd left TV a long time ago. I hadn't watched TV in a couple years. I haven't bought a new TV in over eight years now. I just TV is just not my thing anymore. It just it's so commercialized, it's so scripted, it, it's just, it kills me. Like, I know it's very hipster of me to say, but there's nothing on TV for me anymore that I really enjoy. So YouTube's my new medium where I'd go to find all my entertainment. After watching him for about a year and watching him grow faster and faster and faster, I just, I couldn't believe it. I watched him go from 300 subscribers until today he has over 300,000 subscribers. and I. He's living his dreams. He's out there on Daytona in Florida, racing with Cletus and all those guys. And uh, it's just awesome. Like, it, it blows my mind that he went from that to that. And I watched the entire thing happen. And Kyle and Boosted Boys, that was a, a huge thing for me. It was, it just, it was kind of like the, wow, they're making, they're making it big on YouTube and they're doing, they're nothing but a couple guys just having fun with Hondas. It never occurred to me that, hey, maybe other people want to watch it, but obviously people do, and they really like it, and I, I love watching this channel, I love watching their stuff, and it's, it's very entertaining, and that's, but that, that was probably the, the initial Kickstarter of me starting this whole thing, of even getting into YouTube, or even trying to make a YouTube channel, was watching him rise, it was just, it was incredible, and I know that Kyle worked very hard on that channel, and I know that they went through some drama there for a while, but He's still putting out a, a killer content and he's still got all these awesome projects going on and I, I love watching this stuff. Anyway, on to number two. So 
So number two on my list is a uh, good friend of mine in real life. I've known him for a couple of years, great guy. I've been to the uh, 100 Acre Woods a couple of times with him at the rally uh, for Rally America. Been to all kinds of uh, events with him and I've, I've always really admired his work. And uh, He's killed it in the car scene here in Arkansas and he's, he's traveled around and done all these incredible things that I'd love to do as a uh, photojournalist. And it's been a big influence for me to finally just jump the gun and get into it. Cause I know that he's a great dude. I know that he does great work. Being able to take that kind of video and take that kind of pictures and have the opportunities that he does. Ian, if you get a chance to watch this, your work's awesome. It's been a huge influence to me. And you're another reason that I got into this. Your work is incredible and I'd love to get on that level. And it, it meant a lot to me that I knew him personally and I knew of his story. Cause it's like, you know, there's no reason that I couldn't get into this, that I couldn't put in the work and try to get there and try to get my photography and my videography up to a level. So Ian, thank you. Huge influence to me. And finally, third influence. So influencer number three, Casey Neistat. Now I'm gonna loop him into a couple other YouTubers that I really like. Uh, Peter McKinnon, uh, Travel Fields, Maddie, tons of other guys out there that really are just helping creators out and helping people explore more with how they make a video. I'll put a couple of clips of his in the end of this video that were extremely inspirational. And I don't think I ever would have done the two videos a week if it hadn't been for him. His drive is incredible. Like it's just, it's second to none. And there's a reason why that guy is so good on YouTube. And that's why he's done so well for himself on YouTube and in life. He was a ex-filmmaker, never went to film school, didn't graduate high school, didn't go to college. He's a self-made man. He came from nothing and made himself into something. He did everything that people said he couldn't and he did. In his video, Do What You Can't, is exactly what I want to do with my life. I want to do what I can't. People say that I can't do something, I want to do it. I want to do what I was told I could never do or what someone said you'll never be able to do. And he's very much that driving force behind that, that that I can do it attitude and there's nothing stopping me but me attitude. Very much self-reliant, very much. But anyway guys, I'm gonna leave you with a couple of clips from uh, Casey Neistat, some of the inspirational videos that he put out and just little clips of things that really stuck with me. If you're new to the channel and you made it through this video, Welcome, thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching this. My series One Word is my one-on-one -on -one kind of time with the camera. It's kind of like my camera therapy to you know talk to my audience, talk to my subscribers, open up a little bit to them. It's kind of my honesty hour. Thank you again for watching. All the guys that support me, uh, all my regular guys and my, my newest supporter, Honda Vlogs. He shouted me out in his last video and that was incredible. Thank you, Christian. That was super cool. I really. It made me happy and made a lot of my friends happy to see that, that you know, I was getting some recognition out there and that all this hard work is, is, is showing, like other people are noticing, not just you know, 180 subscribers that I have right now. And it, it means a lot to me. Thank you guys. And uh, link below to his channel. He's a cool dude. He's like, he's like our Honda community like news network. It's what I call him. I know it's called Honda Vlogs, but I think it should be H&N or something like that, like Honda News Network. But anyway. Christian, keep doing your thing because it's rad and I love it. But anyway, guys, lots of wagon parts coming in Friday. I don't want to spoil it, but some of you guys already know what it is. It's going to be fun, though. Till next time, guys. Wait, watch these clips first and then just pretend that I said, till next time, guys, peace. Because that's kind of been my closer and I'm trying to get a rhythm. Peace, rhythm. Is that kind of my thing? I don't know. I'm trying to get my thing here. This is week six. I should have this shit figured out by now. But anyway, peace, guys. Allow me to introduce the rest of us. We're the makers, the directors, and, and the creators of this generation. We don't have big award shows or huge budgets or fancy cameras, but what we do have are our phones and duct tape and parking lots and guts. And we have ideas we need to share. We know it's not the size of the production that matters, it's what you make. We don't create because we have to, we create because we love to. And we've captured billions of moments from different angles, for different reasons, for millions of viewers, but with one thing in common.
when we're told that we can't, we all have the same answer. Watch me. Thank you.